Now I'm standing in the Zika forest of Uganda's Entebbe. In the forest, there are not only snakes and monkeys, but more than 70 species of mosquito. They harbor dozens of deadly pathogens, which make the forest one of the most perilous places on Earth. The forest is known for its biodiversity, so it's key for research into tropical diseases. Back in the 1930s, a group of virologists came here to research yellow fever. Years later, they had discovered a new virus. Blood sample was collected from monkeys which had been put in this uh, forest. Then uh, attempted virus isolations showed that there was a new thing other than the yellow fever which we were looking for. So what is the year of the scientists uh, find? Uh, uh, this, is, this is 1947. This was 1947. They had started doing work in 1936, but again this one was a new one. So they named this one Zika virus because of this forest. There have been 14 confirmed cases since its discovery. Zika virus has been found in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Sudan, in Egypt, in Nigeria, in Congo, and in Senegal, in Africa. Uh, the first one actually being in Nigeria, human case in Nigeria. This research tower is 40 meters high and rises above the forest canopy. As regards to this tower, we use the same trap to catch mosquitoes at the different levels mm. uh, along, along the tower. These light traps are installed to lure the mosquitoes overnight so that they can be studied. The number of stages that we have here, mm. the, from the young stage to the adult stage. The Aedes aegypti mosquito carries the Zika virus. The main difference between the mosquito here and in Brazil is that the South American one likes living in cities. Uganda, it, is, it prefers other animals. Egypt, a mosquito in Brazil, feeds on man. The virus strain has also mutated as it traveled to other parts of the world. As it moved into Micronesia, from Asia to Micronesia, it found a population of people who were naive, who didn't have antibodies against flaviviruses, so it started uh, proliferating. Then it also found a population which had so many mosquitoes. So these mosquitoes would transmit it very quickly from one person to another. So as this was happening, the virus was also slightly changing. So the virus started adapting to multiplying in the human body. So, a very adaptable virus. But it's hoped that work done here, together with research being carried out in the Americas, will result in the Zika vaccine soon. Zhang Cheng, CCTV, Zika Forest, Uganda.